Hello there watchy people, how is it going? Welcome back to another tutorial, I am Kane83 and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, DIY Stream Deck so you might have heard of the Elgato Stream Deck it's uh, a USB uh, keypad effectively where all the keys have got little LCD screens on um, and you can put, you can assign them to be hotkeys in OBS or whatever streaming software you use um, it's about 110 pounds I think which is what 150 dollars something like that you probably get it cheaper now because uh, it's been out a while but it's it's still a lot of money um, and if you're like me and uh, you can't really afford that and you have to make your uh, equipment out of bits of cardboard and string then um, this is a way you can do it for uh, less than ten dollars so what you're going to want to do is get yourself a uh, USB number pad to plug in as an external device on your computer. I went for this particular model on Amazon, but you can any any USB keypad will do. It's uh, not a problem at all. And then you're going to want to go and download a program called LUA Macros, Lua Macros. There'll be a link in the description, um, so you can go and find that and install it. And when you've done that, you'll get up a screen which uh, might look a bit scary if you're not into like coding and stuff but it's it's fine you don't need to learn stuff I'm going to show you everything you need to do and um, it'll all be good so when you open Lua Macros you are confronted with this screen um, and it's just basically a big old empty space with uh, <laughs> nothing in it so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, plug in your USB keypad make sure it's connected up and it, all the drivers are installed and everything um, and then you need to find out which device it is so you can do this by pasting in this command or typing in this command which is LMC print devices uh, now this is your code window here and this is your output window down below um, and when you hit the play button whatever's happening up here um, will be actioned and the results will be down here so hit play and there you go it's um, it's listing all the USB uh, human interface devices which are keyboards mouse game pads all that kind of stuff um, well it doesn't actually list my mouse so I don't know quite what it's listing but suffice to say that your keyboard will be in here somewhere so what we've got here are these two keyboards <coughs> uh, one of them is your main computer keyboard and one of them will be your keypad so what you need to do is remember this number here I believe um, and that is going to be the unique identifier for your device so you can see it's it's before all these zeros um, and after the and here uh, so yeah just make sure you copy that bit now we're going to start telling the computer how to treat these devices so uh, you can copy and paste from my script which I've put in the description and it'll look a little something like this so here we go it's quite simple what's going on here um, first of all you assign a recognizable name to your number pad so LMC underscore device underscore set underscore name and you give it the name first followed by your number so you can name it what you like here and uh, paste in the number that you copied there this is the number for my device yours will be different um, so yeah just paste your device in there uh, LMC print devices is what we already had there I've just left that in place because it can be handy if I hit play it's it's useful just to see what's there now and then um, so next you're going to uh, tell the machine what it's going to do so if you changed your name up here make sure that you change it down here as well to match these two need to be the same so it's looking at the device which you've called stream deck or whatever you've called it and then it's listening out for which button you're pressing and whether you're pushing it down or releasing the button it registers um, a push and a release separately so when you push a button that's two actions uh, so we're saying if it's being released then uh, don't do anything in addition to Lua macros you're also going to install 
from the same download page you're going to download and install HID macros which is like an older version of their program but it's got one very useful function uh, let's bring that up it looks like that um, so on this one you can uh, push down a button on your number pad and you'll see that this uh, box here gives you a number so uh, for some reason when I let go it's reverting to something else but uh, we don't need to worry about that when you hold it down when I hold it down it shows me 97 uh, so what you want to remember is that 97 number uh, if you press a different one then it's going to show you a different number so 103 uh, I'm pushing number pad 1 by the way is 97 and now I'm pressing number pad 7 is 103 all the keys you want to assign on your number pad push them and remember the number down there so you're going to change the 13 to the number that you want so in our case it was 97 wasn't it so yeah here we go I've done it down here already but you would change that to the number that you want and then you would change this section between the inverted commas here the single quote marks um, to what you want it to do now what's important here is that uh, you assign a combination of keys that is unusual um, in games or in the program that you're going to be recording it just something that's not likely to be pressed uh, so for me here I've gone with control uh, which is this little chevron represents the control button and enter which uh, is the enter button on the number pad so if the button that's been pressed is number let's say 97 so let's go with this example 97 then send the keys this symbol means control and then this bit means uh, number one on the number pad if it was just a one it would be the the numbers across the top of a larger keyboard because you're using specifically the number pad it's num1 uh, again there's a link to um, the identifiers so that you can pick out the the ones you want uh, so then all you need to do is copy and paste these you can obviously there's a load in there so you can just change the ones I've done or you can paste your own ones in so for example 110 is gonna say press control and num decimal so that's the full stop button on the uh, on the number pad um, and yeah just add keep adding in this whole section for as many keys as you want to do uh, always changing the number and this section in here and that's it really once you've finished you can save it um, somewhere handy and then all you need to do is double click that saved file and it'll open up this window again you hit play you minimize it and you're ready to go with your streaming um, and then what you can do is in OBS where we get this lovely uh, infinity screen going on because I'm recording using OBS as well um, you can hit the settings go to hotkeys and you might need to use the the buttons on your main keyboard to set these because sometimes it gets confused um, with what what key you're pressing if you use your USB number pad so hold down control on your keyboard and press the the button that you want it to be and uh, that will work if you um, for example like I've done start and stop recording here you can put both the same key twice so that it toggles uh, and then when you are streaming and only when OBS is out of focus focus means the window is selected so if it's in focus you have OBS as your active window um, if it's out of focus then you would have your game or something else so your your mouse cursor uh, and your keyboard are focused effectively they're going to type into the game window that is when they will work if you've got OBS open um, they may not work at all so do remember that when you push the button and nothing happens it's probably because you've got OBS focused and that's it you're all set to go so you can push whatever button you've assigned to do something and it will do it so for example I've got my uh, number pad 5 button set to the be right back screen for when I'm streaming so I hit that now and you guys get an awesome transition across to my be right back screen 
So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you want to see this kind of thing a bit more. Please head over to the Astromech Gaming website, astromechgaming.com, uh, where you'll find all our members and some awesome tutorials along with gaming content and uh, similar. I will see you on another tutorial soon. Bye.